the choice is yours. Which game or activity would you like to try? Just pick the tent you'd like to visit, click on it, and let the... Splendid choice! Wow, I'm sure glad to see you again. Our balloon's all filled with air, but we can't take off. Not unless you help us collect the things Edison says we need for our next art expedition. What do we need to find first, Edison? Reeds grow by water and are green and tall. But mostly they don't look too special at all. Change? This is where you can make the game. Okay, I'm... Are you sure you want to change? Hello, welcome back. Edison and I have our suitcases all packed. But without your assistance, we aren't going to be able to go anywhere. We need you to help us find the items we have to take on our next adventure. Okay, level two is a little harder. We have to solve Edison's riddles so we know what to pick up. And when I get hit with paint, you need to move me to a shower before it disappears. Ready? Here we go. What do we need to find first, Edison? Each house has one, and it's made of wood. I'll try not to bang it, if you possibly could. I think I've got it, Edison. It's a front door we need, right? Good. And we're going to see how scary some front doorways can be. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon. We made it! Now to... Excellent! We've got our first item aboard. Great teamwork! This is the front door to a temple in Thailand. It's a holy place, and these fierce-looking dragons are guarding the entryway so no evil spirits can enter. Artists often create wild-looking creatures like this. Sometimes it's for religious purposes, and sometimes just for fun. All right, let's see what else we need to find. What's second on the list, Edison? When the day is rainy but you must go outdoors, this will protect you in the worst of downpours. Look, Edison, here's something good in the rain. An umbrella. Great, that's it. And we're going to be taking a look at something else that's useful in the rain. Though it can be pretty ugly. Now that we've collected... All right, two down, one to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. This creature is a gargoyle. It's an imaginary beast. And that's good, because that means there aren't any running around loose. You can find gargoyles like this in France, high up on the roofs of cathedrals. Lots of them actually have a useful purpose. They act as rain spouts and help make the rain run off the roof. Well, you know what they say. No rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Birds have these from head to tail, in colors bright or very pale. I've got it, Edison. It's what birds have from head to tail. A feather. Good. Of course, in ancient Mexico, there was another creature who had lots of feathers. Though he didn't look anything like a bird. Now that we... We make... Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. This fierce-looking creature is a feathered serpent, a snake with feathers. 
His name is Quetzalcoatl, and the Aztecs of ancient Mexico thought of him as one of their most powerful gods. Among other things, they believed he controlled the rain. Luckily, this monster never existed, except in stone carvings like this. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Which of these are Thai dragons? Good, that's right. Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Okay, I know our route now. And I don't want to frighten you, Edison. But we're going to visit the ancient ruins of Mexico and track down some old feathered serpents. We'll send you a picture when we get there. My oh my, what a magnificent expedition! Thanks so much for making it possible! We sure hope you'll help us again. Remember, if you send us on a second trip, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? This object is sharp and used with a thread. And you don't want to lose one in your bed. Okay, Edison, this must be it. It's sharp and you use it with a thread. A needle, right? Yes, and not just any needle. It's an embroidery needle. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We... There we go. Item number one safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. In many other parts of the world, traditional clothing can be a true work of art. In Japan, the traditional garment is called a kimono. Kimonos are often made of the finest silk, and pictures are sewn onto them with tiny little stitches. This sewing technique is called embroidery. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's second on the list, Edison? It's soft and it's shiny and it comes on a spool. And the clothing it makes is wonderfully cool. Wow, this is pretty thread. What's it made from? It's silk thread, CJ. And some of the most beautiful garments in the world are made out of it. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. Okay, we've got two items aboard now. Nice work. Just one more and you're there. This gorgeous outfit is a sari, and it's one of the traditional things worn by women in India. Often, saris are made out of silk. Silk comes in a rainbow of colors, and it's the perfect material for hot climates because it's so lightweight. A sari isn't really a dress. It's a long piece of cloth that the woman wraps around her body. It takes a lot of practice to learn how to do this. Well, you know what they say, no rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? It looks like thread, except that it's thick. Stitching well with it is quite a trick. Okay, Edison, I'm not sure about this. It looks like yarn. Is that what we need? It certainly is. 
But this isn't just any yarn. It's yarn from Guatemala. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over. Okay, item number three, safely stowed away. Great, we're all loaded up. This colorful garment is called a weepil. It's worn by the people of Guatemala, which is in Central America. The weepil is a little like a very large shirt. It's made of hand-woven fabric and then embroidered with bright colored yarn. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. Which of these shows a Guatemalan weepil? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. Edison, my friend, it's as clear as a bell. And whoa, what a trip we're going to have. We're not going to just one place, we're going to three. We're going to Japan and India and Guatemala to see how they make such beautiful clothes. We'll send you a snapshot when we get there. Sensational! That's all I can say. I agree. I don't know what I was so nervous about. I had a grand time. Well, thanks to you, we've had two amazing adventures. And you've just won a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Great! You've won another reward. What? Now you can... Yippee! Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Hi! We've been hoping we'd see you again. CJ and I feel the call of adventure. Well, especially CJ. But we're grounded if you don't help us find the things we need for our next trip. What do we need to find first, Edison? When you're painting, you'll need one of these. Although its hairs might make you sneeze. I guess I found what we need, Edison. It's a paintbrush. Good. It's hard to paint without one. Unless you're doing finger painting. Now that we've collected an object, you need... We... Excellent. We've got our first item aboard. Great teamwork. A brush is just as important to an artist as pots and pans are to a cook. It's impossible to paint without one. Artists often have quite a few brushes, each for a different purpose. Some paint brushes are for delicate work and are made of just a few very fine hairs, like camel's hair, while others are made of thick bristles and are used for thicker, wider strokes. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's second on the list, Edison? You can grow these yourself by planting some seeds. But you've got to remember to pull out the weeds. Here's a bunch of flowers, Edison. This is what we need, right? Yes, but not to put in a painting. We want them because of a different way artists sometimes use flowers. Now that we... We made it! Great! That takes care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go!
Flowers are a very popular subject for painters to paint. But did you know that flowers can actually be in the paint? In the old days, artists would often have to make their own paints. And they would color it with things like flowers, berries, vegetable skins, and powdered rocks. Some artists still use natural materials to make paint. Well, you know what they say. No rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? This comes in cans, both large and small. But you shouldn't eat it. Mm-mm, not at all. Ah! I think this is it, Edison. It's a can of paint. And don't worry, I'd never confuse it for a can of peas. Good. Paints may be pretty to look at, but some of them are made from chemicals you wouldn't want to put in your mouth. Now that we... Ah! We made it! Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. This painting was painted with acrylic paint. Acrylic paints are made out of chemicals. Although some paint is still made out of natural materials, most paints now are made out of artificial ingredients. There are many different kinds of paints, including oils and watercolors. Each kind of paint acts differently and has a different look. Artists need to know a lot about paint. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Which of these shows an important painter's tool? Perfect. I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. Hey, Edison. No doubt where we're going now, to a paint factory to see how paint is made. We'll send you another photograph once we're there. Now that was the journey of a lifetime. We can't thank you enough for helping. You don't suppose you could assist us again, do you? Don't forget, if you send us on two trips, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? This kind of thing is nice on the floor, but then you must vacuum as a regular chore. Ah! Here's something you use on the floor, a rug. Is this what we need, Edison? Yes, but not because it's soft to walk on, but because of the pattern on it. Now that we've collected... Ah! We made it! Okay, we can check off item number one. A fine job of collecting indeed. Look at the wonderful pattern on this rug. Do you see how one side matches the other side exactly? We call this symmetry. The pattern of this rug is woven in a symmetrical design. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's second on the list, Edison? When the sun shines through it, it's a fantastic sight. Though, it's still quite beautiful, even at night. This is some kind of a window, Edison. Light could shine through it, right? Absolutely! It's a stained glass window. 
a window made of colored pieces of glass. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon. We okay, we've got two items aboard now. Nice work. Just one more and you're there. This window also has a symmetrical design, like the rug we just looked at. The colored pieces of glass almost look like the petals of a flower, with each petal starting in the center. This type of stained glass window is called a rose window, and you can see windows like this in many old churches, especially in Europe. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Some people in Africa wear this with pride and show it off when they go outside. Edison, this is just a piece of cloth. Can someone really wear it? They sure can. In Africa, Pygmies have a way of wrapping cloth around themselves for clothing, and the patterns are very special. Now that we've... Okay, item number three, safely stowed away. Great, we're all loaded up. Look at the design on this cloth from Africa. Can you see how it's different from the patterns in the rug and the window? If you folded it in half, the two sides wouldn't match. This is called asymmetrical, which is just a way of saying it's not symmetrical. This kind of pattern can be very interesting. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. Which object here has a pattern that is not symmetrical? No, but isn't that so? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. You know what, Edison? We've seen three different patterns here, which tells me our trip must have a lot to do with patterns. In fact, we'll be going to a workshop in New York to meet some people who design patterns for a living. We'll send you a snapshot when we get there. we saw the sounds we heard you wouldn't believe it and guess what I wasn't the least bit scared during the balloon ride and I kept my eyes open the whole time too well now that we're back on dear old mother earth again we want to give you the thanks you so truly deserve CJ's right we couldn't have taken these two trips without you we're giving you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides as a thank you present Ride is really now you Yay! gosh I really appreciate what you've done here and now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions Wow I'm sure glad to see you again our balloons all filled with air but we can't take off not unless you help us collect the things Edison says we need for our next art expedition. What do we need to find first, Edison? String can be used in so many ways. To tell you them all would take me days. Here's some string, Edison. Always handy for an expedition. Well, this string is special. It's used to launch a particular work of art. Now that... 
Excellent! We've got our first item aboard! Great teamwork! This kite is from Japan, where they love to fly kites in celebrations throughout the year. They make kites in many shapes, colors, and patterns, and consider some of them to be works of art. Some Japanese kites are giant, 60 feet high, and take a lot of skill to fly. Others have legs, tails, or are created in forms such as boxes or butterflies. Kites have been used in Japan for military and religious purposes. And they're often used in celebrations, such as Children's Day, a day when children are honored. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's second on the list, Edison? If off to Africa you decided to trek, you might spot this creature with a really long neck. Okay, Edison, I bet this is it. A giraffe. But why? Well, strange as it may seem, it has something to do with marbles. Now that... Great! That takes care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go! Here we have another toy. And it's certainly different from the one made by the Japanese. It's a pull toy. And it's an animal that village children probably see all the time. A giraffe! The materials might be simple. Just coat hangers and pieces of metal. But there's no doubt what it is. A lot of imagination goes into making something like this. Well, you know what they say. No rest for the weary. You can be sure Edison has something else for us to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? Most little girls own at least one. They're a major reason why girlhood is fun. I've got a doll here, Edison. This must be what you're looking for. It looks a little different, though. Yes, it should. That doll has secrets. Now that we've... Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. Okay, most little girls have a doll. Or maybe a few dolls. But there aren't too many girls whose dolls all fit inside each other. Unless they happen to live in Russia. These are called nesting dolls. And each one fits inside a bigger one. And there can be as many as ten of them in a single doll. They're usually decorated with beautiful designs too. Okay, now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? Which of these toys was made in Japan? Good, that's right! Now I bet CJ will know where to steer us. Good news, Edison. I've worked it all out. We're on our way to Russia to get a good look at how nesting dolls are made. We'll send you a picture when we get there. Astounding! A total adventure from beginning to end! We'd love to go somewhere else, and if you'd be kind enough to help, We'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? They may seem small, but they give plenty of light. And keep your house from being dark all night. Yeah. 
Look, a light bulb. This is what we need, right? That's it. And artists use light in ways you might not have thought about. Now the... We ma Okay, we can check off item number one. A fine job of collecting indeed. Did you ever realize how important light is to the movies? Light shines through the film, and that's how we see images on the screen. Without light, there would be no movies. But movies aren't the only things that we create with light. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's second on the list, Edison? This holds up your jeans and your trousers, too. And sometimes it might even match your shoe. I've got a leather belt here, Edison. Is this it? Sure is. And I think you'll be surprised what leather and light have to do with each other. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help. We made it. All right, two down. One to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. Leather is usually made out of cowhide. Although other kinds of skins can be used to make leather too. Everything from ostrich skin to camel skin. Most of the time, leather is used to make practical things like belts and shoes and wallets. Sometimes though, it's used in a whole different way. Okay, let's see what Edison says we need next. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? What we need now is a kind of actor. If being human isn't a factor. I don't know, Edison. I found a puppet. But is a puppet an actor? Sure, in a way. He's a character in a story that takes place on a stage, right? Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We Okay, item number three, safely stowed away. Great, we're all loaded up. These are shadow puppets from Indonesia. And here's where we combine light and leather to make a very special form of entertainment. The puppets are made from leather and colored gels. And when the light shines through them onto a screen, it's almost like watching a movie. The puppets are behind the screen though. So the audience is actually seeing their shadows, like we are here. That's why we call them shadow puppets. Well, I'd say we have a good handle on all three items now. I have a hunch that if you just answer a question, we'll know exactly where CJ and I are headed. Which is a form of entertainment that uses leather and light. Oh gosh, that's perfect. I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. Edison, old pal, I know exactly where we're going. And it should be terrific! We'll be setting our compass for Indonesia. And when we land, we're going to a shadow puppet show. Our camera is packed, so we'll send you a picture when we get there.
Oh, the joy of adventure. There's nothing like it. I was so busy having fun, I didn't even remember to worry. Well, thanks to you, we've had two amazing adventures. And you've just won a piece of Keisha's carnival ride. Great. You now you can... Yippee! Gosh, I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Hello! Welcome back! What do we need to find? This little bug is a master spinner. That's the way he catches dinner. Change. This is okay. Are you sure you want to change? Hi! We've been hoping we'd see you again. CJ and I feel the call of adventure. Well, especially CJ. But we're grounded if you don't help us find the things we need for our next trip. Alright. Level 3 is a little more intense. More stuff, more paint, shorter showers. Be quick, ready, let's go. What do we need to find first, Edison? This gets hot and is used for baking, but it's not a dinner we'll be making. Look, Edison, is this it? This doesn't look like any stove or oven I've ever seen. You've got the right thing, CJ. It's a special kind of oven. A kiln. Now that we've collected an object, you need to help me carry it over to the balloon and put it in the basket. We met. There we go. Item number one safely stowed. Well done. I'm impressed. This is a kiln. It's a type of oven used just for baking pottery. Pottery is shaped from clay, but the clay has to be heated to a very high temperature to make it hard. The process of baking clay pots in a kiln is called firing. Well, we can't afford to rest on our laurels here. We've still got more collecting to do. What's second on the list, Edison? This is an ear, but it hears no sound. And it comes from a plant that grows in the ground. Sorry, nope. So Oh, I get it. An ear of corn. But we can't cook it in the kiln. You said kilns are just for making pottery. So what are we going to do with it? Well, that's just what some of the first people who grew corn wanted to know, CJ. Now that we... That takes care of item number two. Beautiful! Only one to go. This beautiful pot was made by Native Americans who are members of the Zuni tribe. Pots like this one are important works of art. But pots have a very practical purpose too. The Zuni people and other Native Americans first made pots to hold corn and other food that they used. Just think how messy and difficult life would be without containers to hold your food. All right, let's see what else we need to find. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? This once held liquids. Like water or wine. And the painting on it is very fine. Well, I'm afraid that's the wrong thing. Look.
Here's something that could hold a liquid Edison. But what is it? An amphora, of course. Though that may sound like Greek to you. Now that we... Well, that's the final item. We've got all the collecting done. And done with excellence and style, I might add. This beautiful object is from an ancient area near Greece, and it's called an amphora. This type of vessel might have once been used to hold wine or water or even olive oil. It's made out of clay just like the Zuni pot. But these ancient people had a whole different way of decorating clay objects. And they had different shapes too. Just like the Zunis, they first made clay objects for practical reasons. But over time, they turned them into amazing works of art. Okay, these three items you've collected are definitely pointing us towards our mystery destination. If you just take this little quiz, I think we can nail it. Which of these is a kiln? Yes, that's it. Now, let's see if CJ knows where we're going. Now, Edison, I don't want to get you overexcited, but it's clear we have a double header here. That's right. Our trip is taking us to two places, not just one. Get this, my friend. We'll be comparing the pottery of the Zunis and the Greeks. Whoa, what an adventure. We'll send you another photograph once we're there. <coughs> my oh my, what a magnificent expedition. Thanks so much for making it possible. We sure hope you'll help us again. Remember, if you send us on a second trip, we'll give you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. What do we need to find first, Edison? Some things are small and hard to see, but this item helps enormously. Oh, my favorite thing. There must be a mystery about. Well, in a way, you'll see. Now that we've co- Excellent! We've got our first item aboard. Great teamwork. Sometimes, to understand things that people did a long time ago, you almost have to be a detective. Scientists who look for clues about the past are called archaeologists. They often dig into the ground to search for ancient ruins. Though sometimes what they find is very, very tiny. That's when they pull out their magnifying glasses, just like detectives do. Okay, back to work. Wonder what we'll need to find now. What's second on the list, Edison? It's a special rock from long ago and helped us learn what we didn't know. Well, Edison, I've got a rock here, though I don't know if it's the one you want. Great! It's the Rosetta Stone. And it's full of clues. Now the... Whee! All right, two down, one to go. And a first-rate job of collecting that was. This is one of the most important pieces of rock in the world. It's the Rosetta Stone and it helped us crack the code of ancient Egyptian writing. Before this stone was discovered, no one knew how to read the symbols the Egyptians used, the type of picture writing we call hieroglyphics. 
But even with the Rosetta Stone, cracking this code wasn't so easy. Well, it's been nice taking a break, but time to get back to it. What's the last thing we need to find, Edison? A king wears this upon his head, but takes it off before going to bed. Look, Edison, a crown. That's what we want, isn't it? Yes, good. And in a way, it's a clue too. Now that we've collected an object, we we well, there we go. All three items aboard. Wonderful. Everything we need for the trip. This is the word that helped crack the code of Egyptian writing. It's the word for Ptolemy, one of the Egyptian kings. Do you see how the letters are placed inside an oval shape? This oval is the symbol that the Egyptians used for a royal person. A lot like we use a crown now to mean a king. Experts were able to compare this word to the two other kinds of writing on the Rosetta Stone. And it was the key that finally unlocked an ancient mystery. Okay, now that we've taken a good look at all three items, things are beginning to make sense. I bet if you answer a question for me, we can figure out our mystery destination. Ready? Which of these is a symbol of royalty? Perfect. I'm sure you've helped CJ figure out our mystery destination. <coughs> Wow, Edison, this is great! Thanks to the Rosetta Stone, our own mystery is solved. We're flying to Egypt, of course. We'll be looking at some ancient hieroglyphics, and maybe we'll even learn to read them. We'll send you a snapshot when we get there. Sensational! That's all I can say. I agree. I don't know what I was so nervous about. I had a grand time. Well, now that we're back on dear old Mother Earth again, we want to give you the thanks you so truly deserve. CJ's right. We couldn't have taken these two trips without you. We're giving you a piece of Keisha's carnival rides as a thank you present. Good work. You've won another. Now you can place your... I really appreciate what you've done here. And now you can go back to CJ and Edison and help them fly off on some more art expeditions. Hello, welcome back. Edison and I have our suit. Keisha, do you know how come the color yellow suddenly turned a different shade? No, I don't, Eleanor. Why? Well, when yellow saw how pretty the color pink looked, she turned green with envy. <laughs> your, your studio awaits you. Oh, so nice to see you back. I can't wait to see what you're gonna make this time. Click the desk. So, what would you like to work on first? Here's the art you were working on when you were last here. If you want to start an... Start a... more selections. Finish this portrait we started for you. Click to see more selections. Object stamps. Click.
Click to see more so Click. Shapes. Two shadow puppets or stick. Pup, pup, pup. Click, click. Click. Morse. Collage tool. Up. Colored stitches, buttons, and appliques. Click to. to. Stitch it. with the name stamp. Just click where you'd like to place your name. Choose a ready-made color.
new shadow pup puppet. Sh Click. Click. Pup. Stitches Name stamp. Sign your work with the name stamp. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own. Where you can choose a ready made color. Print stamp. Blue light. Red. This is where you can choose a ready made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, Nate. This is where you can choose a ready-made color or mix a color of your own in the paint mixing area. When you've made a color you like, Close the portfolio. Start a new... Click. Exit. Thanks for stopping in. See you later. If you'd like to frame one of your... Choose an artwork for this. Choose one of the artworks in your personal portfolio. What a striking piece of work! Oops. To choose an artwork for this friend, choose one of the artworks in your personal portfolio. Very. Loop. Click the deck. Exit. Oh, I'm so sorry to see you go. I hope you hurry back. Hey, terrific! Come on in. Welcome back to my invention tent. Here's... Lard, that's it! 
That's the good small. This piece needs. Good job. There we go. You. Good job. Small try. This piece needs to be colored with a red shade. Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. There we go. Just pick up the button. Small. You got this piece needs to be colored with yellow orange. Excellent. It's just the right color. There we go. Just pick up the bucket and fill in your shape. That's the correct color, all right. Large. Large. Good work. This piece needs... Nice work. You're all set. Click. Try it. Try it. Try Try it. Sorry. You need to... Excellent! It's just the right color! You're all set! Click on... Medium! This piece needs to be colored with an orange shade! Excellent! It's just the right color! There we go! Just pick... Nice coloring! Short look, try it good. Short no. Short so. Short good. Short. <laughs> well, all right. You figured the whole thing out. Just two more like that, and you'll win a piece of Keisha's carnival rides. Okay, you're doing great. Okay. Here's a new invention for you to create. Hey, just right. This piece needs to be violet. Excellent. It's just the right color. Now it's time to paint. Just click on that. You got this piece needs. Nice work. You there we go. Just saw short try. Small key perf. Small this piece needs to be yellow. Small good. Go. This piece needs. Excellent. It's just the right color. There we go. That's the correct short small. This piece needs to be orange. Good job. The paint's just the color you need. There we go. Just pick up the small nice small sir. This piece needs to be colored with a Nice work! You've mixed just the right color! Now it's time to paint! Small sir. Nice work! You figured out this piece needs... Good job! The paint's just the color you need! There we go! You! Small! This piece needs to be... Nice work! You've mixed just the right color! You're all set! Congrats! A perfect copy! That's number two! One more, and you'll be a winner! Hey, you're on a winning streak! This game could do it for you! Oh, 
Okay, here's a new invention for you to create. Large cube, that's it. Small red, try it. This piece needs to be colored with red orange. Good job. The paint's just the color you need. You're all set. That's the correct color, all right. Well done. This piece needs to be... Good. You're all set. Short move. Small freight. Small sharp. This piece needs to be colored with a blue shade. Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. Now it's time to paint. Just large. Nice work. You small. This piece needs to be colored with red orange. Excellent. It's just the right color. Now it's time to paint. You got it. Small night. This. Oh, sorry. Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. You're all set. Small. Small. Good. Curt. Medium. This piece. Excellent. It's just the right color. You're all set. That's the curve. Sharp eyes. That's the right place, all right. Amazing. Another perfect copy. That's three times now. And that means you've earned a piece of a carnival ride. <laughs> Terrific. You've earned another piece of Keisha's ride. But come right back for more fun, okay? This ride is really... Now you can... Yahoo! Thanks for your help. Now you can go back to Hopsalat's tent and put some more inventions together. Hi there. Glad you hopped in again. So, ready to try another map? Spurf! This piece needs to be... Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. Now it's time to... You got it! Tiny... This piece needs to be... Good job! The paint's just the color you need. Now it's time to paint. Just... Well done! This piece needs to be colored with... Nice work! You've mixed just the right color. There we go! Small, move it. Small, nice. Small, this piece needs. Excellent, there we go. Nice. Thorn, well done. This piece needs. Small, sir. This piece needs to be cut. Excellent. And there we go. That's the small. That's it. This piece needs to be colored with a yellow tint. Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. There we go. Tiny try. This piece needs to be colored with. Good job. The paint's just the color you need. You're all set. Small move. The pe fra no. The piece is good. Go on. This piece needs. 
Good job. Now it's time to paint. You got it. Small try. Oops. You've got this piece needs to. You've made yellow. Whoops! <laughs> this isn't the right color. This piece needs to be colored with a yellow tint. You've got some of the paint in the correct tubes. Look at the mark. Good job! The paint's just the color you need. You're all set. Click on... Tiny... This piece needs... Excellent! It's just the right color! You're all set! Click! Well, alright! You figured the whole thing out! Just two more like that, and you'll win a piece of Keisha's Carnival Rides! Okay! You're doing great! Okay, here's a new invention for you to create! Well done! Small... Small... You got... Large... Tiny... This piece needs to be colored with yellow-orange. Nice work! You've mixed just the right color. There we go! Just pick up the... That's the correct color, all right! Small... Nice work! You thorn this piece needs to be red. Thorn this piece. You go thorn good job. That's right where it goes. This small this piece needs to Nice, you're all set. Small, that's it. This piece needs to Excellent. You're all set. Click. You. Curve. Try the. Curve. Good. Go on. Congrats. A perfect copy. That's number two. One more, and you'll be a winner. Hey, you're on a winning streak. This game could do it for you. Okay. Here's a new invention for you to create. Perfect! Love this piece needs to be... Excellent! It's just the right color. Now it's time to... Perfect! Small... Lock. Nice work! This piece needs to... Be... Nice, there we go. Lord, this piece needs to be... Excellent. It's just the right color. There we go. You got... Smart. Good. This piece... Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. You're all set. This piece needs to be colored with a blue tint. Good job. The paint's just the color you need. There we go. Nice color. Me. Well done. This piece needs to be... Excellent. Now it's... Me this piece needs to be colored with red-orange. Nice work. You've mixed just the right color. Now it's time to pick that. Small, small oval. Afraid not. Sorry. Afraid. Good work. Wow, that's your third perfect match. 
Congrats! You get to choose a carnival ride piece for Keisha. First class work! You really earned a piece of the carnival ride. You're off to Keisha's ride. Wow, you're on the final piece. Let's go set it up. Now you can... Yippee! Wow, would you look at that? We've got the roller coaster of lines all set up. I love roller coasters, don't you? Come on, let's give it a try. It can be wavy, or jagged, or broken. Short or long, thick or thin, hey, I ain't joking. It can make a dash like this, or a whole big design, and come in any color. Yes, my friend, it's a line. It's a line, maybe straight just like an arrow. It's a line, it may be wide, it may be narrow. It's a line, hey, listen up, it might be curvy. It's a line, it might be positively swervy. It's a line, line, world is full of lines Look at that vine and that piece of twine You've seen them fast and you've seen them fine If you're gonna be an artist, you gotta love a line If you're gonna be an artist, you gotta love a line Lines are such fun, aren't they? You can have fun with them in your art, too! Wow, look at this! You did it! You completed all four rides! You really know your art and carnival rides! You're the best partner I could have asked for. Come back anytime to ride them. Just click on them. Thanks for your help. Now you can go back to Hopsalot's tent and put some more inventions together. Hi there. Glad you hopped. Here's a challenge. Good job. Small, this piece needs to be cut. Nice work. There we go. That me no this piece needs good there we go just me this piece needs to be excellent there we go that's the no sharp this piece excellent you're all set large ta Small, well done. Small, long, long, sharp, small parallelogram. This piece needs to be colored with a blue shade. X, there we go. Just pick up. That's the. The piece you just moved doesn't need. Small, good. This piece. Good, now it's time to paint. Congrats, it's a match. Copy two more of my inventions and you'll get a reward. So, ready to try another? FG, too bad you have to go. Come back soon. Hey Frankie, what does a marble sculpture have in common with a Thanksgiving dinner? Nothing that I can think of, CJ. Oh, yes, they do. They both involve lots of carving. <laughs> Here's where you can check your progress. Click on the one, two, or three to see how you're doing in games that have different levels. You can also check the progress of everybody who's playing the game by clicking on the All Players button. And you can print your progress report by clicking on the print button. Le Here's how you're doing on level one. Level two. Here's how you're doing on level two. Here's how you're doing on level three. Level. Here's how you're doing on level one. Level two. Here's how you're doing on level two. Here's how you're doing on level three. Here's how you're doing on level one. Here's how you're doing on level two. Here's how you're doing on level three. All players progress report. Close. This will be great fun! Great! You're back! I left the game you were playing right where you left off. Bamboo. Values. Uh-oh, that's not the one you need. Brush. Bamboo. No. Semi. Bamboo. No. Bamboo. Bamboo. 
Hey, a match! You're off to a great start. Here's our first clue about the missing artwork. There's bamboo in this artwork. Land brush and ink. Landscape. Value. Try it. Semi-realistic. Landscape. Oops. Landscape. Landscape. All right, another match. Now let's see what the clue is. This artwork is a landscape. That's a picture that shows a scene. Usually landscapes are painted outdoors, though sometimes they're done inside too. Values. Artists know of Asian. Rats, a wild card. I'll have to mix things up a bit. Hate to do this to you, but I'm going to have to spin again. Here goes. Uh-oh. Congratulations, you paired the two wild cards. Now I won't be mixing up the cards again for the rest of this game. Semi- Semi-realistic. Good work, we're half done now. Now for the clue. This artwork is somewhat realistic looking, but not as much as a photo. Artist's name. Artist's name. All right, another match. Now let's see what the clue is. We don't know the name of the artist who did this. Asian. Brush and ink. Values. Asian, no. Value. Asian, no. Brush and ink. Brush and ink. Two more matches and we'll have all the clues we need. You're doing great. Here's the clue you found. This artwork was done with brush and ink. Values. Values. Okay, just one left. A slam dunk for sure. Now let's hear our last clue. This artwork is monochromatic, which means it's all in values of one color. Asian. Asian. Great going! Another match! Here's the clue you found. This artwork was made in a country in Asia. Congratulations! You found all the clues! Well, now we have all the clues. Which artwork do you think goes in the book? Ooh, you're good. That's the missing picture, all right. Back into the book it goes. Bamboo by an unknown artist. Okay, ready to play again? If you fill in one more page in my book, I'll give you a rewards piece for Keisha's rides. Okay, step right up for another game. Here we go. 3D perspective. Artist. Uh, semi. Lance. Oil paint. Rats. Oh, what? Complimentary colors. Artist's name. No afraid. Expressionist. Lamb. No. Semi real. Rats. A wild card. Exit. I won't touch a thing while you're gone. Bye for now. Hey, Keisha. Tell me. Why did the artist use lots of light in his paintings? I give up. Why, Hops? So they'd be easier to carry. <laughs> Exit. Are you sure you'd like to quit Jumpstart Artists? <laughs>